three. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Harrington, and I work at Green Twig on Union Street in San Francisco. And what we're going to be doing today is we're, we're going to be working with a sewing technique and putting hair up. So it releases us from having to use pins, uh, bobby pins, rubber bands, and all that. It's just a simple technique with a little uh, textile hook and some linen thread. It's a wax-based linen thread, so it has a little bit of grip to it. And so my model Tina, what I've done today, I've already pre-braided her. I did a large, loose fishtail braid, two braids. One of the, uh, the starting from the about the recession area, coming at a diagonal down through the back of the head into the corner right here. And so they're just real loose, and I kind of broke them up a little bit. I took some of that thread and made a, just a, I tied the braid into place, so we didn't have to use you know rubber bands because that's what we're just, we're sticking with one little utensil. And so I'm going to go ahead and just give her hair a little bit more texture. I've already run the confixer through the hair when it was dry because it was clean and a little slippery. So I'm just gonna give it a little shout out with this air control. It's a very light spray, it's a working spray. So it just kind of helped give me some texture and hold. And so with that little blast right there, I'm just gonna go ahead and start winding my braids. I'm gonna wind them in a direction towards this left shoulder. And you can see that the texture of the fishtails is really coming through in this. And I'm just gonna wind it around into my shape. I'm gonna tuck it in right here behind the ear. I want a nice kind of low, it's kind of a you know, Gatsby kind of loose bun braid thing, if you will. I'm gonna take my hook, I'm going to go in right at the head shape here, and we're going to pull this through, and we want to make three passes through the hair before we start to put any real tension on it. This will help it lock into place. So there's one, there's two, and then three. And then after you get your tension, you can start just kind of winding it in and securing it into place. She has a lot of hair. It's taken us several tries to get this because I had to figure out exactly how this was going to lay. But we've had a lot of fun doing it. So I can just continue down the braid. And you, you want to make sure that you get one of these textile needles that is fairly dull on the tip, otherwise you could, you know, injure your client. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to give it a nice little tug here. See, yeah, it's kind of holding in place right there. So I'm going to give it another pass, just for safe measure, because her hair is very heavy. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do a little slip knot through one of my passes there, bring it back through. Secure. And then we can just take these tips and just tuck them in. And you can use a little bit of that extra thread to tie those in. the secure part, we need to make three passes before we're really secure. One, two, three, one. Grab that little end. And that's the neat thing about the needle and thread, you can just take little pieces that are sticking out and just tie them into place wherever you see fit. Voila, we have an updo that will last all night. It's nice and secure. And the thread doesn't really show through that. So this is our sewing technique that we do over here at the Green Twig on the industry. Thank you.